Hi everyone, it's Amanda. I'd like to talk to you today about creating a thank you page and making pictures and uh, links clickable in your PDF document. Right now I'm in PowerPoint and I'm using a Mac. This thank you page includes lots of important information that you should also consider having on your thank you page. Um, some people put their thank you page at the beginning before their product, which is really smart. Others put it at the end. It's up to you. So I always remind my customers that they can earn money on TBT by providing feedback. And so once I turn this PowerPoint into a PDF, which I'll show you in a second, I, I need to make sure I include a link here. See how this works here, because some people don't know what TBT T credits are. So I need to make sure to include a link to this page. So if you go to your TPT, uh, TPT credit balance, it will take you to this page. And so I always like to provide a link to this page in my thank you page so that that um, customers know they can earn money by leaving feedback. So I always put that in. Um, I also put uh, multiple links back to my TPT store in my thank you page. So my logo is a link to my TPT store. Right here is a link to my TPT store. Yeah, it seems like a little bit of overkill, but you never know what will draw your customers in to see more products that you've made. I also have um, a link to my Instagram. Um, well, actually, this is not going to be a link. This is just my Instagram username if they want to come search for me. Um, and then uh, my website. Uh, I also have my email address. And then I have a reminder that all of these links are clickable. So I have links to other products that are similar to the product that I'm selling. So how do you make all of these links? Well, let me show you. First, I'm going to convert my uh, PowerPoint into PDF and I know you can't see it but at the top of my page um, it says file so I'm going to click file and then I have a drop down box and I'm going to click save as and down here I'm going to choose PDF save as PDF click save and now that is saving to my desktop so I'm going to go find that on my desktop here. This is the PDF version. Notice that this is, it looks uh, different. This is because this is PowerPoint. And then this is the PDF um, that I just uh, saved. So now I'm going to make uh, clickable links in here now that it's a PDF. So what I need to do, I'm in Adobe Pro right now. And it does cost money, but it is well worth it uh, because you can do all sorts of things using Adobe Pro, uh, making links, organizing pages. Um, if you don't flatten, which flattening just makes all of the images one, which you can't really edit anymore. So flattening really like it just limits editing. But um, anyways, that's a whole other video. So let me show you how to make a link. So I'm going to go to tools and you have all these different to tools you can use um, in Adobe or Ad Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I am going to uh, edit PDF. And then up here is a little button that says link. So I'm going to add, edit, web or document link. And then I can just... Uh, so I need to uh, have a link to the product here. I'm going to put the link to how this works here. So I just draw a box and then open a web page is what I want. Invisible rectangle, I always keep that the same um, next. And then I just enter my URL into this uh, box. So I'm going to go back here, grab this link, um, and then put it in this box, paste, okay. Now this is a link and it won't show up until you press save. Once you press save, then a little hand will come up and that means it's a link. So I'm gonna press save. And, um, and actually I'm gonna get out of edit so that I can just see what this looks like. So I'm gonna click that X and now here you see the little hand. I'm gonna click that 
and it will take me to my page. So I hope that this video was helpful and that you learned a whole lot about how um, you can create links and what sorts of things you need to include in a thank you page.